Who was it? Asari Diplomacy, you've received a cryptic message from Nasana Dantius, an Asari ambassador on the Citadel. She wants to meet with you in person. Meet with Nasana in the Embassy Lounge on the Presidium level. All right, we're pretty close to that. Do, 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 do. This is not the way out. Um, I forget the way out. <laughs> how do I, how do I leave? Again, is it this door? No, this leads back here. And then I think. Um, it's not the elevator, is it? That goes downstairs, and downstairs is not where I want to be. Kaden, all the usual suspects. Wait, I don't think I've ever been in this room. <laughs> like, ever. Okay. That's probably a big reason why. It's pointless. Is there a Normandy map? <laughs> there legit is a Normandy map. Oh, and you can see the... the oh, that's the captain. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, to deck three. That's where we keep the Mako. It's all on fire. So let's go to deck one. Boom, boom. Now up here. Okay, okay. There, now we're on deck one. Calm room. Oops, oops. The bridge. The airlock. Oh, the airlock's by the bridge? Well, that's cool. See, that would have taken me forever. I'm glad they actually do have a map of this place. Did you see this? No idea this was here. Uh, we're bringing... We should bring an Asari with us. This is an Asari mission. So, in an effort to make Ashley jealous, we'll bring Liara and... I could bring Garrus. I'm kind of thinking of bringing Caden just so that he can stretch his legs a bit. But then the squad is mostly like caster stuff. I am the tank. This that, this is this is if we're I'm not really anticipating getting into a fight, but we we might get into a fight here. It would be silly to give Garrus new armor and then not bring him. <clears throat> Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I understand. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. I like it. Rear Admiral. Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I don't. I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. <laughs> I got them on our ship and you. Uh, I, I mean, what can I tell you? We all have our orders. Captain Anderson made it clear to me that my assignment came from way up in the brass. They say jump, I say how high. Remember that when I tell you to jump. I don't begrudge the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. <laughs> what are you talking about? The ship saved our lives a dozen times over. An exaggeration. I've read your reports. This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. I don't give a shit. Go ahead. Like, you have your orders. I have my orders. You're an admiral. You can do whatever the hell you want, but you still aren't going to trump the orders I've been given. Go ahead and give her an inspection. You know what? In fact, that'd probably be doing me a favor. We'd be honored to show her to you, Admiral. I'll just bet. I mean, I don't have anything. Wait here. I won't be long. What? It's a full inspection. You'd better be long. Oh. Commander, I'm not happy. <laughs> you didn't sound very happy to start. Sounds like a fairly common situation. Commander, I suggest you secure your mouth. It's going to get you in trouble. 
Spectre! Design that CIC. Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? <sighs> you don't expect me to rip out the CIC and redesign it, do you? A proactive captain would try. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 <coughs> fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. I mean, I, just, I don't... I have less and less... How did you get to be an admiral? When all you understand is brute force. We spent a fuck ton of money on this thing, and we are now the top of the line stealth... The only stealth ship in the entire fleet. Why don't you want a stealth ship in the fleet? That broadens the whole fleet's capabilities by f factors immeasurable, right? One extra cruiser in you What you're mad at is that you didn't get this ship in your flotilla. That's what you're mad at. I think you should see her in action before you make that call. Do you know? Well, I'll just have a bed made up in your cabin. Camp out until you find a fight, hmm? And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? A sorry? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. You need to shut the fuck up. God, I wish I had some intimidate. The simple fact is, I'm also part of the Council's chain of command now. They expect a joint effort. I'm providing one. The Council expects a whole hell of a lot from the Alliance, Commander. They better start giving back real damn soon. They are. Do you have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? Yes, but honestly, I, my genuine answer is yes, but I really don't have time for this shit. I'm here for a reason. You got in my way. You're grabbing your cock and balls in this big display of I'm the admiral you're the commander you're gonna listen to me you you what 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 the hell are you even doing I don't have time for it I've got shit I gotta do and so do you I'm gonna do the council the alliance you and me all a favor by fuck I, 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 I'm tempted to I'm tempted to take this pistol out and put one bullet in one of your balls I don't want to cause you harm you ain't got no none sir very well I'll be sending my report and corrective recommendations to the joint military command not that I expect them to do anything about it. There you go. Too many interest groups have too much money invested in this. No. Commander Shepard. Think Rex would kill that guy for like 50 credits? I used to have an office here. Spent half my time doing paperwork. Now you spend half your time getting cool new armor! Did you know Citadel Security is the largest multi-species law enforcement agency in Council space? I didn't. It was the Turians who first suggested creating a single organization to maintain order on the Citadel. Perhaps that is why more than half the force is Turian. Did you know Citadel Security okay, shut up. is the largest multi-species law enforcement agency in Council space? Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Oh, that was our doing, huh? That's pretty cool. Look at that. Making the whole galaxy safer. One side quest at a time. Kalish Al Jilani. You seem interesting. Shepard? Wait, are you... Kalisa had been seen in Al Jalani, Western Lanu. I thought you were a Would reporter. Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Yeah, I thought I saw the camera and I was like, you're a reporter, aren't you? Would you answer a few questions for our viewers? Um, you know what? Kind of like the limelight. What do you want to know? You've been given a unique position to represent our race. People want to get a sense of how you'll do that. Ooh. Ooh, this could be useful. Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? Oh. Um. To be honest with you, I hadn't had a lot of time to think about it. It kind of fell in my lap out of necessity. Um, the boost in power is cool, but I'm also having a little bit of... And, and power, I mean like executive power. The boost in power and, and influence 
and the new freedom out to being being able to operate outside the chain of command, traditionally speaking. Um, I mean, it's all, in one word, overwhelming. Not that it's too much for me to handle, but it is a massive increase in power from what I was like yesterday. And that takes some adjusting. There's no option to say that. <laughs> I didn't even look at these three things. I purposely looked away from the monitor to give that little bit, just so I wouldn't be influenced by what these three are. Um, with that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? Well, if I have to choose between these three, I'm going to say I'm honored because the, again, this is out of me becoming a specter is out of necessity. The council made me a specter because I was literally the only and best candidate that could do it. Um, and I was, and the only reason I was the only candidate that could do it is because I was the only one that was best. Nobody, nobody else could do this. Only I could. It was out of necessity. But at the same time, there's been a lot of background talk, a lot of background chatter. There's a lot of subtext from through all of the dialogue options and all of the things that we've heard throughout the game that uh, humanity has kind of risen through the ranks very quickly. We've gained a lot of influence. And because of how quickly we've gained that influence, we've also gained a lot of ire. Me being the first human specter is going to um, cause some friction, politically speaking, and among the people. Not just, uh, not just humans, but everybody. So I need to give off the best impression that I possibly can. History needs to look down on X Shepherd as, okay, there's two ways that history could look at me, right? There's two ways that history could look upon the first human specter. I could either be a terrible option. They'll say that the council made an awful choice because of reason, reason, reason that we can't, we can't know in the future. Or they could say, the council choosing a human as a specter in this moment of need, uh, in this time of need, was the best choice that could have possibly been made because of reason, reason, reason that we can't tell in the future. I need to aim towards that second option. So I need to be on my best behavior, at least in the public eye, when it comes to talking about being a specter and behaving as a specter, a commander, a captain, a soldier. I am, it all falls on me. This isn't just about me. This isn't just about my crew. This isn't just about today. This is about the future of the entire Alliance and many races involved, right? So I really, there's a lot of pressure on me for this. So I got to be on my absolute best behavior. The specters represent the best of every species in the galaxy. To be asked to join them is an honor. Some have said your appointment is the Citadel throwing humans a bone. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? I mean, yes, but when I became a specter, I chose to take on more responsibility than just those that I had before as a human commander. I have more responsibility now. Some of those responsibilities are going to be in the interests of people that aren't human, and that's fine. The Council is concerned with the needs of the whole galactic community. We're part of that community now. Our needs are on their agenda, but we're one of many. You really do believe that, don't you? You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? Yeah, man, it's freaking awesome. Many details are still classified, I'm afraid. I can tell you she's a fine ship and has the best crew I've ever served with. Some members of that crew are aliens, as I recall. Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? Oh. Oh. I hadn't thought. I hadn't thought about the Normandy being part of the equation. I mean, humans did build it, right? But the Turians designed it. It itself is a joint effort. So, I don't see why not. And again... We talk a lot about us versus them, the aliens. We keep talking about the aliens aboard my ship, the aliens uh, uh, on the Citadel, the aliens within the Alliance, the aliens that humans interact with. And we have this us versus them mentality. We can't be that way. I and the Normandy are two really good examples of how humanity can become 
of how everybody, because aliens also look at humans this, humans that, humans this, humans that, always and always, it's always us versus them, right? There's a lot of division, and there's a lot of, um, looking out for oneself rather than looking out for each other. There are times when both are necessary. This is a time where we should be looking out for each other. It's a very important time. And I want to get away from the whole us versus them thing. I don't see it as us. See, I didn't, like I said a second ago, I didn't even think of the Normandy being part of the equation here. Um, because it's property at the end of the day. It's a fantastic ship, and I love her, and Joker loves her. But she's a piece of property at the end of the day. So I didn't even think about that. Didn't even halfway sort of begin to cross my mind. But if we do consider it as part of the equation, then I think it's a positive part of the equation. One that shows that I, a human, can indeed get away from this us versus them mentality and make it just all us, everybody us. There is no them, we're all us. The Normandy can be part of that. It's not just ours. It's, uh, sorry, it's not just humans, humanities. It's ours, the whole galactic community. <clears throat> Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? See, man, I think I need to get some points in the conversation skills. Because some of the things that I would naturally say are in these options, but I can't choose them due to a stat thing. The Normandy has only been loaned to the Citadel. It's a legal technicality that allows me to use her in my new role as Spectre. So this was only to help you in your new job working for the Citadel. Given your recent experiences, do you think humanity will ever get the respect it deserves from the galactic community? I don't know. It, that, that really is not my place to say. I just told you earlier that this is all about how history will look back on this time. And it's all reason, reason, reason. And I need to make sure we steer in the correct direction. So it's not my place to say, and it's not your place to say, we'll ever get the respect that we deserve from the galactic community. There will be some people who never think the aliens respect us enough. And there will be some people who think the aliens respect us just the right amount and others who think they respect us too much. It's really not my place to say everyone can come to their own conclusion on this one. I can tell you one thing for certain though. We have shown time and time again that we are a valued member of this community. We have been given a lot of stretching room ever since, since we as the newest members of the Alliance, this galactic community, since we as the newest members of this, um, well, galactic community, we have shown our adaptability, or, or, sorry, our adaptability and our general value. That's going to continue. They're going to see me as a specter, and I'm going to do my very best to make sure that everybody knows that this, that, this, that, those reasons that we're talking about, I'm going to do my very best to lead towards that direction. And if we all do that, then yeah, definitely. We'll all get the respect we deserve, us and the aliens. It's inappropriate for an active duty officer to publicly comment on politics. Ha. One last question, Commander. Rumors back home say you're tracking a rogue specter named Saren. Do you have any comment on that? Didn't I just tell you I can't say this shit? You're interviewing a Spectre here. I'm afraid I can't comment on whatever my current assignment may or may not be. Don't worry, we'll find out. The eyes of Earth are on you. Don't let us down. Thank you for your time, Commander Shepard. Now look, in the middle of that interview, I had the thought, you know, she's putting her own spin on everything that I say. Like, oh, so we lent the Normandy to the council just to help you, right? Like she's trying to put her own, whatever her political spin is, whatever her news agency is trying to put forth, because that's what news agencies do today and apparently in the future. She's trying to put her own spin on everything that I say so that her viewers can all agree with it and leave positive comments and likes and there's clickbait titles and headlines and things like that. She's, that that's what she's trying to do. But at the same time, I have to give her some credit. She asked some tough questions. That's what the press is supposed to do. They're supposed to ask the tough questions and try to get those answers, right? Some of them were a little bit uh, 
inappropriate, like asking for classified information. But again, I can't blame her for doing that. It's part of her job to get the answers, to get the truth. That's what journalism used to be about. And she actually did apply some of that here. I'm not going to fault her for asking those questions. Uh, I will put a little bit of fault on her for trying to put her own little spin on it. It was sort of needlessly aggressive, and it can end up misleading some of her viewers. But her questions were fine, I think. So I kind of have, uh, it's kind of a, dual, a double-edged sword for that conversation. Anyway. Um, fast travel, fast travel, fast travel. Or the Presidium, straight ahead. Where I will find. In breaking news, Chairman Burns of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by biotic extremists. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No demands have yet been made. Oh man, so there's a hostage situation in the Hades Gamma Cluster. I almost feel like I should go take care of that. I am a specter. I can choose to do that if I want to. To the embassies. Off we go. But I don't think I will. I think that's another one of those Mako on the planet missions. So I think those hostages are just going to have to die. Um, I am being met by an Asari. Is there something else I can help you with, Commander? I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Oh, there she would be. I don't know why, but running up these stairs always makes me think you can fight like a Krogan. Run like a leopard, but you'll never be better than Commander Shepard. Oh, bum, 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 bum. Okay, well, we have to meet in person. Alan? Oh. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I see you got my message. You said you had a job offer. I do. My sister Dahlia is a crewman on the cargo vessel operating out beyond the fringes of the Traverse. Her ship was attacked by privateers. There were no reported survivors. Oh, her ship was attacked by privateers and there were no reported survivors. You want me to hunt down the people who killed her? This is where it gets complicated. Last week, I received a message with her voice on it. Mm -hmm. Dahlia is alive. The rest of the crew was killed, but she was taken prisoner. The slavers demanded a huge ransom from me in exchange for returning her unharmed. Is it just your sister that survived? Not that... But, I mean, is it? Why didn't the raiders kill Dahlia along with everyone else? My sister probably told them who she was. My family's very wealthy, Shepard. I see. They must have realized she was worth more to them alive. All right, so if you don't want me to go in guns a Do you want me to deliver the ransom? I've already transferred the funds to the account they specified. Only they never released her. They haven't contacted me since. Wow. I've made a terrible mistake, Shepard. I'm a diplomatic emissary. By law, I'm required to report any attempted extortion to CSEC immediately. But I was afraid for Dahlia. So I just paid the ransom. Now she's still missing. And if anyone finds out what I did, I could end up in jail. Hmm. You're in a you, you are in a desperate situation then. You want me to find her and bring her back? You only need to bring her back. I've already found her for you. I tracked the ransom payment through several accounts. Eventually, it led to a small mercenary band operating out of the Artemis Tau Cluster. I need you to go to the Merc base, take them out, and bring my sister back. You shall be well rewarded. This sounds fun. Don't worry. I'll bring your sister back. Thank you, Shepard. I knew you were the right man for the job. Come back and see me when the job is done. Realize we got this whole thing going on with Saren, but someone just offered me money to kill. So... <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be great. Me and Ashley are going to go kick some ass. And Garrus. Um, I don't think he'll have anything new to say, right? So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. Thanks. I only hope you're better than the one they're sending you after. <laughs> I... I do strive to be. I'll do everything I can to stop Saren. Hmm. That's what worries me. <laughs> Is there something you wanted? 
<laughs> what do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the... More like the underhanded side of the council. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, you are... You are Odo 100%. They could put Odo in that chair and it would be the exact same dialogue, word for word, punctuation for punctuation. Which makes me like and trust you, just implicitly. Fucking love Odo. All right, let's get back to the ship. We gotta go to the Artemis Tau Cluster, because that's where we can shoot stuff. I do have extra credits now, don't I? Oh, and I have level ups that I can do. All right, now that we have Garrus's armor, we can turn this back on. Okay, that's good. Hit that quick save. And now we're looking at leveling up my skills. I'm gonna say, what was it we were, oh, we, we know we wanted some of this stuff here. Ooh, motivated buyer. Sets intimidate score at four, opens up new dialogue options, sells items to stores for 2% more credits. Cool. Unity. Oh, I was th thought these were the two. Charm. That's charm score, opens up new dialogue options. So let's get both of these and motivated buyer. That's pretty good. Okay, we'll get all of those. I'm tired of not having the right options that I want to say. Um, I tend to use my pistol and assault rifle the most. And assault rifles seems to be lagging behind. So does fitness. Immunity reduces health damage. Whoa! Does not reduce damage to shields. Oh, duration, six seconds. Recharge time, 45 seconds. Okay. Reduces. Okay, so this is a shield wall. Hmm. That could be extremely handy. Yeah, fitness is kind of lagging behind, and we can pick up immunity with that. And then with two points, what's first aid do for me? Restores 40 health for all wounded party members. Ooh, let's get a party heal. And what's the next level of that do? First aid restores 50 health per use. Okay, it's a bit of an upgrade for first aid, but I want to... Marksman, boosts accuracy, increases damage, increases headshot damage, purges weapon heat on use. Ah. Let's put the assault rifle back up anyway, though. I feel like we're lagging behind on the assault rifles part. Sounds good. Let's save that. That's already saved. Liara, barrier. Okay. Stasis. Contains the target in a mass effect field that holds them in place, but also makes them immune to damage. Cool. Lift. Oh, she's got tons of crowd control. Advanced warp increases warp's effect, radius, duration, and allows it to be used more often. Singularity unlocked. Oh, man, she's actually got a lot of really cool abilities. Oh, she's got first aid. Oh, wow, she's got first aid, like, leveled way out there. You could actually be really handy. Garros, you're good there. Okay. To the Artemis Tau Cluster. Please. Just take me back to the... Take me to CZEC. I think that's the closest place and there is. Yep. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Hey! Look at that. That's news right there of more of the uh, different races getting along together. Also, I decided to go for the crotch shot this time in the elevator since we always go for the girl's ass. You know, but, you know. What good is a girl's ass without a man's crotch, you know? Equal representation. Equality. 
Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. Ah, Bob, good. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. He's like, whew, glad you're back. It's hard work standing here. Mr. Presley, how'd things go? Yes, Commander. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. I just wanted a status report, but I didn't get one. That's what I would really do when I got first thing I got do the first thing I would do when I got back to my ship would be to ask the uh, acting captain how things went. Message coming in. Patching it through. Another one. Commander Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. You don't come off very well. She talked rings around you. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't care. With all due respect, Admiral, I'm a soldier, not a public speaker. She shouldn't have ambushed you. We have a press corps for a reason. Nobody's blaming you. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. 